Today, we're taking a trip across the oceans. Around 71% of the Earth is covered in water. The major body of water is the ocean. The ocean is divided up into five major oceans. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Southern Ocean, and the Arctic Ocean. Let's learn more about the five oceans of the world. The Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean and it covers around one third of the Earth's surface. It separates Asia and Australia from North and South America. The Pacific Ocean got its name from the explorer Ferdinand Magellan. He called it the Mar Pacifico, which means peaceful sea in Portuguese. The Mariana Trench is the deepest place in the world at 35,797 feet under the Pacific Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the world's second largest ocean. It separates Europe and Africa from North and South America. The Atlantic Ocean is about half the size of the Pacific Ocean and covers about 20% of the Earth's surface. Many years ago, some people thought the Earth was flat and that ships would just fall off the Earth somewhere out in the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean gets its name from the Greeks who called it the Sea of Atlas. The Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest ocean in the world and covers 20% of the Earth's surface. It lies south of Asia and India and separates East Africa from Australia. The Indian Ocean is also the warmest ocean in the world. The range of temperature for the Indian Ocean is between 66 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean is also called the Antarctic Ocean, South Polar Ocean, or Austral Ocean. It is located at the South Pole. The Southern Ocean is the fourth largest or second smallest of the oceans. It covers only 6% of the Earth's surface. The Southern Ocean is the youngest ocean because it was formed only 30 million years ago when South America and Antarctica moved apart. The Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean is located at the North Pole near Europe, Asia, and North America. It is the smallest and shallowest of the world's oceans. It covers less than 3% of the Earth's surface. The Arctic Ocean gets its name from the word Arctos, which means bear in Greek. The Arctic Ocean is also the coldest ocean on Earth. For most of the year, the Arctic Ocean is covered in ice. Hooray! That was a fun trip. We learned everything about the world's oceans. What oceans have you seen? Hey Sprouts! Today we are learning about animals and their habitats. Habitats are the natural home or environment of an animal, plant, or other organism. Let's help these animals find their homes. Where does the snake live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the snake lives in the forest. Where does the octopus live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes. The octopus lives in the ocean. Where does the tiger live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the tiger lives in the forest. Where does the crab live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the crab lives in the ocean. Where does the parrot live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the parrot lives in the forest. Where does the sloth live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the sloth lives in the forest. Where does the seahorse live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the seahorse lives in the ocean. Where does the hummingbird live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the hummingbird lives in the forest. Where does the stingray live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the 
Yes, the stingray lives in the ocean. Where does the puffer fish live? In the ocean or in the forest? Yes, the puffer fish lives in the ocean. Hooray! You helped all the animals find their homes. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Sprouts, let's count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's count faster this time. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's say it again, but even faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today, we're learning about the continents of the world. Continents are huge land masses that are separated by the waters of our oceans. There are seven continents on our planet, and they are Africa, Asia, Antarctica, Europe, North America, South America, and Australia or Oceania. Asia. Asia is the world's biggest continent by land size. More people live in Asia than anywhere else in the world. Around 60% of the people on Earth live in Asia. The Yangtze River is the third longest river in the world. The Gobi Desert is the largest desert in Asia and the fifth largest desert in the world. This desert can get so cold that it sometimes snows. Africa. Africa is the world's second biggest continent by land size. It also has the second most people living on it. There are 54 countries in Africa, the most on any continent. The Sahara in Northern Africa is the largest and hottest desert in the world. The longest river in the world, the Nile River, is also in Africa and it flows through 11 countries. North America. North America is the third biggest continent in the world by land size. By population, it's the fourth largest. North America is home to the longest land border in the world, which is shared between Canada and the United States. The world's largest island, Greenland, is also located on the American continent. Australia. Australia is the world's smallest continent and the second least amount of people living on it. The word Oceania is also used to describe the 14 countries in this region. Some of the countries included are Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, and some of Indonesia. South America. South America is the world's fourth biggest continent by land and the world's fifth largest by population. South America is home to many things. The longest mountain range, the Andes Mountains, the highest waterfalls, the Angel Falls, and the driest place on Earth, the Atacama Desert in Chile. Europe. Europe is the second smallest country by land size, but is the world's third most populated continent. Europe is home to more than 10% of the world's people. The European continent contains 50 countries. The smallest country in the world, Vatican City, is also in Europe. Antarctica. Located at the South Pole, Antarctica is an island surrounded by the Southern Ocean. Antarctica is the fifth largest continent by land size. It has no permanent population and no countries. Antarctica is used as a scientific base. Hooray! We learned about all the continents of our planet. What continents have you been to? Hey Sprouts! Today we are learning about animals and their habitats. Habitats of a natural home or environment of an animal, plant, or other organisms. Let's help these animals find their homes. In the desert or in the wetlands? Where does the camel live? Yes, the camel lives in the desert. 
where does the swan live? Yes, the swan lives in the wetlands. Where does the scorpion live? Yes, the scorpion lives in the desert. Where does the gecko live? Yes, the gecko lives in the desert. Where does the heron live? Yes, the heron lives in the wetlands. Where does the vulture live? Yes, the vulture lives in the desert. Where does the frog live? Yes, the frog lives in the wetlands. Where does the duck live? Yes, the duck lives in the wetlands. Where does the cobra live? Yes, the cobra lives in the desert. Where does the fish live? Yes, the fish lives in the wetlands. Hooray! You helped all the animals find their homes. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Let's count to ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's count faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, Sprouts. Let's say it again, but even faster this time. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today, we're counting Australian animals. How many platypuses do you see? There are four platypuses. How many koalas do you see? There are six koalas. How many wombats do you see? Five wombats. How many emus do you see? There are three emus. How many dingoes 
do you see? There are 10 dingoes. How many kiwis do you see? Tasmanian devils do you see? There is one Tasmanian devil. How many echidnas do you see? There are nine echidnas. How many Kookaburras, do you see? There are eight kookaburras. How many kangaroos do you see? There are two kangaroos. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Let's say our ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Great job, Sprouts! Let's say our ABCs again, but faster this time. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Awesome Sprouts! See you next time! Hey Sprouts, let's say the insect alphabet. A is for ant, uh, uh, ant. B is for butterfly, b, b, butterfly. C is for cricket, k, k, cricket. D is for dragonfly. D, d, dragonfly. E is for earwig. I, I, earwig. F is for fly. F, f, fly. G is for grasshopper. G, g, grasshopper. H is for hornet. H, h, hornet. I is for inchworm. I, I, inchworm. J is for june bug. J, j, june bug. K is for kissing bug. K, K, kissing bug. L is for locust. L, L, locust. 
M is for mosquito. M, M, mosquito. N is for knit. N, N, knit. O is for owl fly. Ah, ah, owl fly. P is for praying mantis. P, P, praying mantis. Q is for queen bee. Qu, qu, queen bee. R is for rhinoceros beetle. R, r, rhinoceros beetle. S is for stick bug. S, s, stick bug. T is for termite. T, t, termite. U is for underwing. Uh, uh, underwing. V is for velvet ant. V, v, velvet ant. W is for wasp. W, w, wasp. X is for Xerxes blue butterfly. X, x, Xerxes blue butterfly. Y is for yellow jacket. Y, y, yellow jacket. Z is for zebra butterfly. Z, z, zebra butterfly. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today we are learning about animals and their habitats. Habitats are the natural home or environment of an animal, plant, or other organism. Let's help these animals find their homes. Where does the crocodile live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the crocodile lives in the savanna. Where does the narwhal live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the narwhal lives in the Arctic. Where does the zebra live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the zebra lives in the savanna. Where does the polar bear live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the polar bear lives in the Arctic. Where does the flamingo live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the flamingo lives in the savanna. Where does the penguin live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the penguin lives in the Arctic. Where does the snowy owl live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the snowy owl lives in the Arctic. Where does the walrus live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the walrus lives in the Arctic. Where does the cheetah live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the cheetah lives in the savanna. Where does the giraffe live? In the Arctic or in the savanna? Yes, the giraffe lives in the savanna. Hooray! You helped all the animals find their homes. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time. Hey, Sprouts. Today, we're counting African animals. Let's count and see how many there are. How many flamingos do you see?
There are four flamingos. How many hyenas do you see? There are five hyenas. How many giraffes do you see? There are two giraffes. How many rhinoceroses do you see? There are seven rhinoceroses. How many hippopotamuses do you see? There are six hippopotamuses. How many zebras do you see? There are ten zebras. How many cheetahs do you see? There are three cheetahs. How many lions do you see? There are nine lions. How many elephants do you see? There is one elephant. How many ostriches do you see? There are eight ostriches. Good job, Sprouts. See you next time.